morning, guys, and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today, what we're going to be making is breakfast, and what we're making is keto blueberry pancakes with a veggie scramble, and I'll show you the process as we're going along. So I'm going to make this really easy on myself, and I'm just using um, a keto pre-mixed pancake mix. And what this has in it is 5G, or 5 grams of net carbs, carbs, and 9 grams of protein. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one cup of the keto mix, and we're going to put it in a large bowl. The next thing we're adding is four eggs. Now it's two tablespoons of half and half. The next ingredient is one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And it's one half teaspoon each of butter and almond extract. Next add one half teaspoon each of cinnamon and sea salt. Next, add one tablespoon each of stevia and baking powder. Now we're going to mix the ingredients with a mixer. And now we're going to hand mix in blueberries. Now we're going to turn our burner onto medium low. And the reason we do this is because the mixture, the pancake mix that I'm using, it contains almond flour. And almond flour has a tendency to not want to stick together really well. And so if you cook it at a normal setting like you would for regular uh, white flour pancakes, it's not going to bind together very well. So you want to cook it at a medium low setting so that it cooks all the way through. Okay, so I put butter in the pan and as soon as it's finished melting, I'm going to take an ice cream scoop and I'm going to scoop the pancake batter into the pan. Now what I'm going to do is in a separate pot, I'm going to add some butter, chop up some red onion, and I'll add some spinach to it. And I'm going to turn that burner on to medium high so that I can saute the spinach and the onion and the butter. Now what I'm going to do is sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice, salt, and pepper to the spinach and the onion saute. So I went ahead and because the pancakes started bubbling on top, they had little holes in it, that told me that it was probably time for me to flip it. So I flipped it and I took video of it for you. Okay, so my pancakes are just about finished. I'll show you video in just a moment. And what we're going to make now is we're going to make the scrambled eggs. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pan, you're going to turn your burner onto medium high, and you're going to add some unsalted butter to it. Just let it melt. And while that's melting, you can go ahead and take four eggs, put it in a bowl, and scramble it up. What you're going to add next is one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Give it a stir and add one te half teaspoon each of garlic and turmeric. Give it a stir and add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. And if it gets too dry, just add a little bit more butter. And now what you can do, if you notice that your eggs are cooked, is you can add the sautéed onion and the, and the spinach. They're well to combine and then go ahead and plate it. Okay. 
and I didn't plate all of it. I just took a little bit of it because it'll all, the rest of it's going to be tomorrow's breakfast. Also, I did take some video of the pancakes and how they turned out. And I'm just going to take one pancake and eat that. And I'll store the rest of it so I can eat on it later during the week. Okay, so I topped my veggie scramble with some cheddar cheese. There's some video of that and also some salsa. And I put some sugar-free syrup on my pancake with some raspberries. And I also included some avocado. I sprinkled a little bit of light salt on that with a little bit of lemon juice. Um, I'm probably not going to eat all that just because that's a lot of food, but at least I can save the rest of it for the week and I don't have to make any more breakfast. So there's our meal and I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. Have a great one guys.